What's up, Leo? With your November love general reading. This is for my lovely Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and may not resonate with every Leo out there. So guys, this is a general, as always, in generals, roles can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective or be a personal reading for you. So just apply it where it fits. If it's not for you, it's definitely not for you. So Spirit, tell me about Leo. What is the energy surrounding Leo, please, in love for the month of November? Tell me about Leo. Seven of Blades, Ace of Wands, The Hangman, The Lovers, The Magician, mm, Page of Cups. With the Six of Swords, if you see somebody, it's like somebody's withdrawing an offer here or they're, they're rejecting an offer, um, they're moving on from something here, something that somebody was pretty invested in, it looks like there was some type of divine intervention that occurred that made somebody finally leave something behind. Maybe there was a lack of cooperation in the situation, lack of compromise, lack of teamwork. Um, somebody may have also been refusing to walk away from something and that would progress the situation with you. I do see that somebody was refusing to walk away from something or they maybe went back to something that was toxic. I'm also seeing that as well. I feel like, hmm, this is already complicated. I'm going to have to definitely clarify. So, time was the Ace of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Temperance. What does this have to do with the Two of Swords? Lovers in reverse. Somebody's not making a decision here. Somebody's not making a decision that would lead to a new... Uh, what are they not? What's the lovers reverse? Yeah, they're not. They're not making a decision to put an end to something here, or they haven't yet. They would need to put an end to a situation so that you and them could have a new, um, stable start, or have a new, or for them to bring it, it like offer you something. But I see that somebody still has not made a, dec a decision, and it would also lead to, you know, a reconciliation between you and this person. But they have not made the decision here. But it's for us. It could also be that this person hasn't made a decision because they don't feel like they're healed enough from something. All right. Let's see what else. Well, yeah, somebody's trying to heal from some type of ending where somebody may need backstab them, broke their heart, a bad ending of a situation. Somebody's still trying to heal from that. So that's why they have not made the decision to come in with an offer yet because they just don't feel like they're ready. They don't feel like they're over a situation. They don't feel like they're ready um, to have this new start yet. Which, I mean, guys, is, is actually is good. You know, it is good that this person's wanting to wait till they're healed to um, come toward you. You know, and you don't want somebody coming in, bringing all their baggage and their drama and chaos. Um. Yeah, something isn't progressing because something hasn't ended yet. This one keeps it. Somebody needs to close out a cycle here. It's the Empire's... All right. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, if somebody has not freed themselves from something yet. Spur, if you have, if you guys feel like you have moved on from somebody or you have cut court, like leave, left somebody in the past, Spirit says that's not true. You, I feel like you are still having an energetic court. Do still have some in some way need to move away from somebody. You and this person could still have like an energetic court. That needs to be cut. So somebody could be trying to strategize how to put an end to a situation without chaos erupting. Yeah, that's why I see. So maybe that's why somebody hasn't completely put an end to a situation yet because they're afraid. They know that by ending things with this person or, or ending this situation, that there's a high possibility that there's going to be some type of tower moment that happens um, from this ending. So they're trying to strategize the best way to go about doing this to prevent like a disaster. This could definitely be somebody that somebody has chill. This could be somebody, somebody has chill. I can't talk. Maybe somebody is having a hard time getting their words out too, but this could be someone that they have children with or that you have children with. Yeah. If somebody feels like they're not in a place to build anything or to rebuild. If somebody feels that they don't have anything to invest in you. <laughs> All right, so what's the two of wands? Three of cups. Somebody try to make a decision between two people or two halves here. Yeah, trying to decide which one is one to lead to long-term stability. All right, what's the worst words are in verse? Somebody's lacking the courage here to speak up 
communicate to make a decision. I'm telling you. Somebody's trying to avoid conflict. So, so somebody's not making a decision about something because they are afraid that a fight is going to erupt. Four of Larm, Queen of Cut. The star in reverse. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like this, somebody was trying to maybe work on like a family situation, a marriage, a commitment that there was really no hope for, okay? And I feel like somebody is maybe coming to that realization now. So that they they don't well, they're not trying to pursue that. They're not trying to emotionally invest in that situation anymore. Yeah, somebody is no longer it's like somebody's no longer weighing their options about who they want to be with. Somebody's about to take a leap of faith though. Somebody's about to take a leap of faith and finally make that decision that's going to progress the situation when it's been staring it for quite some time. I feel like somebody is releasing the past because there's no success in that. <clears throat> Alright, let's get more into the nitty-gritty about what's going on here. I can already tell this is pretty complex. So I'm excited to get into the Oracle cards to see what is really going on here. Look at this. We have the Keep Shining card. Mm, so somebody is um irritated by your light. Somebody doesn't like your light. It irritates their demons. Somebody's watching you. Somebody sees you shining. Somebody sees you doing well. They see you looking good. And somebody does not like that. All right? It's making them irritated. Tell me more about this. They see you in Empress mode. Bystander. Yeah, I feel like somebody that you are dealing with, they were refusing to make a decision about you and about between you and maybe another situation or between you and another person. They were just like, I'm just going to let everything play out the way, you know, on its own. But stuff doesn't work like that sometimes. All right. Yeah, it could have been a friend or even, or this is maybe those guys, the person you're dealing with could have like friends around them that know that your friend is messy. They know that your friend makes bad decisions, but they just, they don't even, they don't um check your friend. Okay. They just like let them, they, they don't say anything like, dude, you need to get your life together or girl, you need to get it together. Like you're being messy. They just have friends that just like watch them for their friend crash and burn. I, I don't know. I hope that makes sense guys. Like they have people around them that just sit back and just watch your friend ruin their life. Like, they don't give them any, like, advice. You're just like, well, they're grown. They usually, they make their own decisions. Like, they don't, they don't have friends that, like, care enough to, like, say, like, hey, dude, like, chill out. Like, you need to get your life together. Like, they just have friends that just sit back and watch them um, ruin their life. And they may, it may be because they have friends around them that don't want them to LG, you know? Somebody's spiritual here. Somebody's spiritual and somebody could probably put, could practice witchcraft or, you know, witchcraft could be anything from actually, you know, doing spell work to setting intentions, um, you know, uh, using intention candles. It could be anything, guys. So somebody could be using tarot to want somebody or stalk somebody. I feel like there's somebody keeping tabs on you, watching your social media. <laughs> what someone does routinely their response so they do this like this is like a part of their daily routine okay like their daily routine is keeping tabs on you checking out your social media accounts to see what you're up to what you're dealing all right <clears throat> somebody sees that you're at peace somebody sees that you're at peace that you're comfortable you're 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 doing very well in your life and now they regret what they did to you thank you so much Beatrice Thank you so much for the 1999. I appreciate that so much. Ignored. <laughs> this person could have ignored you. They slept on you. They didn't see your work. Or this person feels ignored by you. And now they regret how whatever they did to you because you guys aren't giving this person the time of day. You guys are just enjoying your life. You're at peace with what you, you made peace of whatever has happened between the two of you. And you're moving on with your life. Now this person's stalking you and regret that they ignored you or they dismissed you they feel like you're like they, they yeah they're crying over you they're regret yeah they see you loving yourself you guys are unapologetically loving yourselves um you're not gonna stoop to you know you're not gonna lower your vibration or stoop to anyone's level you're, you're gonna make everybody meet you at your level 
now this person wants to be more than friends. Now that you guys started unapologetically loving yourselves, now they want to be more than friends. Uh-oh, what's evidence? What about evidence? No limits. It's like this person is hearing good things about you. Like, they, it's like this person wants proof that... How do I explain this? So, it's like they can maybe hear good things about you. Like, oh yeah, my collective, they, you know... Their business is flourishing, their, their money is really good, they're looking really good. It's like they want some type of, how do I say this? Somebody does not respect boundaries here. That's, I'm seeing that as well. I kind of feel like this person is like going to be coming, or is like coming back towards you, not going to be very like respectful of your boundaries. Like they, like they have something on their mind that they want to achieve in this situation and they're going to do anything to do, to get to you or yeah, look at this false twin flame. So this is somebody that's posing as a, fl a twin flame, but it's not a real twin flame situation. It may seem like one, but spirit is saying that this is a false twin flame. Long distance. Could be someone that was at a distance from you as well. What I kind of feel like this is a person that they see you doing well and they don't like that. They don't want you doing better than them. So they're going to try to get back in here. They're not going to be respecting your boundaries. They want to get back in and try to like knock you down a few notches. This is what I'm seeing here. Right. Somebody projecting all their insecurities, all their imperfections onto you. This person that you're dealing with or who's coming through in this reading has a very nasty mouth. Like they're very cunning with their words, very critical of other people, very judgmental. So let's bring this together. What does this have to do with my collective? What does my collective need to know about this? Yes. So somebody's motive. So I feel like Spirit is trying to say there's somebody coming back towards you and they want you to know that they have their that they have like a hidden agenda. So they're coming back towards you. They're coming back to try to control you and the situation. It's like they could be coming back re irresponsible. Yeah, it's like this person, you can't trust this person. You can't rely on them. I feel like this person's coming back with some type of hidden motives. They want to control you or the situation. Sa D what did I just say, guys? Yeah, this person is trying to sabotage you. They're going to be coming back to try to sabotage you, but they're going to be maybe posing... But like this person's going to try to come back and, like, dim your light, sabotage you. But you guys are, like, on such a high vibration. You're not even going to let this person go that close to you to do that. <clears throat> yeah, somebody's nosy. Somebody just wants to know what you got going on. Somebody wants to know what's going on in your life. They want to know about your business. If you have a business or why you guys are doing so well, how you're making your money. Hmm. It's like they want to get some type of information on you so they can copy you or they can... <sighs> this person's been thinking about you a lot. Dreaming, money problems. So this could be somebody... This, why does this feel like this has something to do with business? So some of you guys to be very successful in your careers or in doing something. And this person wants to come get some information or some advice, some tips, so that they can like copy you or that they can achieve what you have achieved that it's like this person like wants to achieve what you have so they want to come back and they their only reason they're coming back is to try to get some information out of you because this person can be going through some type of financial issues and they can maybe see that you're doing very well financially so they want to know how you do it they want to know how to get out of this financial slump or whatever they're in right now and they think that you have answers to how to fix that their financial situation it's like this person's coming back, like maybe it's like acting like they just want to catch up, that they, you know, they missed you, whatever. But it's really they just want to get some information out of you in regards to that can help them in their money situation or obtain something. This person's very manipulative. If this is a love situation, guys, somebody... This definitely is looking like a third-party situation. Spirit just told me that I could be also channeling a situation that's going on with your person. So your person could be doing a lot of thinking about you, but they could be going through some type of money issues because they're going through some type of legal situation with a third party. See how somebody's watching you through tarot readings. Somebody getting tarot readings are going to see a psychic to get information about you and your situation. 
This should be somebody that they are married to. So this is a love situation. Somebody that they're married to is trying to get information on you. Or the clout, yeah. So I'm coming in being fake here to try to get some money out of somebody here. This could be the person you're dealing with or this could be somebody coming towards you to try to get something out of you. What is this what you miss my collective? Divorce. Divorce. Fake. <laughs> hmm. I asked what this meant for my collective and it could be somebody that, um, this is somebody that you used to have a connection with, but it has, you have been, there's been distance between you and this person. This could be somebody that you are married to. This could have been somebody that you were married to or somebody that you were in a relationship with. So what's the intentions of this person that my collective has been dealing with? So this person wants to be friends. This person's intentions, they want to be friends with you. But just know that, guys, this person's very low vibrational, okay? This person's very low vibrational, but they want to be, they make, they want to be friends. Yeah, they think very highly of you. This person that, you know, that you were romantically involved with at some point, they think very highly of you. They think you're an earth angel. They think you're very honest. You have pure intentions, very kind hearted. You're very honest. And, but this person is very low vibrational. Yeah, they're, they, they overthink things. They're very much stuck in their head. All right. So tell me distorted masculine. This person looks up to you. But the, you can't trust this person, though. This person has either, they backstab you in some type, type of way, they've been disloyal to you in some type of way, or they have betrayed your trust in some type of way, all right? This, something that you can't trust this person. But it's like, they look up to you because you're very smart. They view you as very intelligent and very smart. And this person doesn't feel like they can get enough of you. This person kind of, like, wants you to just kind of, <laughs> it's like this person is supposed to go along for the ride with you because, like, this person knows that you're so high vibrational that, like, they know that if they were to follow you or to, yeah, follow you, that you would not steer them in the wrong direction. But I just feel like you can't trust this person. Why is it that I feel like they can't trust this person? Yeah, this person's a heartbreaker. And they're toxic. Look at this. A person who can break hearts easily. Everyone wants them, but not everyone can have them. Bad habits, addictions, can't stay away from harmful stu substances. And then we also have digging for gold. So to some degree, this person is wanting to come towards you because they feel like something about what you have, your money, your assets, your stability. It's like this person is really desiring to be in a relationship with you because of something that you have, or they think that you guys could achieve. Like if you guys um, make good money, they want that. All right. They want your, they want to be, they want to be with you because they feel like you're financially stable. But just, I asked your, if, if you can trust this person or not. And they said, no. This person's toxic, and there's a high possibility that this person's going to do something to break your heart. All right? Or I'll break your heart again. Okay. Where's the deck I'm looking for? What do I do with it? Oh, there it is. All right, let's get more information here. What is going on here, guys? There's always something going on. Yeah, with the false twin flame cart coming out, with the round and lark, round cart coming out, this is probably a karmic you guys have been dealing with. Somebody's been dealing with a karmic who has been staying, who come, keeps coming back to you or dealing with you because of money. Like, look at this, round and round and finances. The cycle keeps repeating because of money. But it looks like if this is somebody that you guys have shared finances with or you live with, you guys, somebody could be moving. Somebody could literally be moving to another city, to a new home, moving because of a job, because somebody's finally realizing that this situation is never going to progress into anything serious. Or somebody's just moving on completely from this person because they're realizing that it's not going to progress. Somebody's realizing that they've been being used. Yeah, this could definitely get karma explained. Like, Spirit's been trying to protect you from this person. Spirit knows this person's... Spirit's like, yeah, this person's been trying to use you. With the evil eye here, they've been trying to protect you from this person. Or your spirit's saying you are protected from this person. Spirit says they want you to focus on cleansing and protecting your energy. 
yeah, you could have some few jealous people around you as well. You need to be careful about who you trust. Because there's some people around you that don't have good intention to like you posting as people that are your friends, your best friends, or people that love you. But um, that's not the truth here. Yeah, it's like you're realizing that you need to move on from the situation because this situation is blocking your manifestations. So this person could have also been trying to like, keep staying with you because of lust. Like, you know, was making a lot of ke good chemistry or a, good pa a lot of passion between you and this person. But I see that somebody is moving on from this. Because they're realizing that th that's the only thing, that's, that's all this is, is passion and money. But um, I feel like there's some type of new rare opportunity that's trying to come towards you. It's like you're going to finally step into your soul's purpose, which I'm supposed to really be redoing, stepping onto your true path. Um, but, you know, it, it, what first has to happen is that this this person is a blockage to that, all right? Staying with this person is a blockage to your manifestations. It's a blockage to you receiving this um, opportunity for you stepping into your true purpose. It's like this was somebody that was posing a sign that loved you or cared about you, but you re you're realizing that they were a hidden enemy. They had hidden had had a hidden agenda. I already said this. They were two faced. They were doing things in secret. Yeah, there's something that's about to change here, though. Yeah, it's like what's going to change is that you're going to finally have the full picture. You may have not been able to see, understand everything, or understand this per person, but it's like you're finally going to be able to see the whole picture. Everything's going to make sense. It's probably only after you spend some time alone. It's like once you pull your energy back from probably any, everybody starts spending some more time alone. That's when everything's going to become clear. And that's when this, these new opportunities are going to come for you, come towards you. You're going to have a chance for a new beginning and starting over. And then that's when that gift from the divine is going to come in. Yeah, this is a, um, a divine gift that's coming in for you once you pull back from this situation. Um, so let's get some more. Let's see here. a shady person you can't trust this person they're suspect they've been hiding things from you it's like the closer you guys get to the divine the more easy you're it's like you guys are gonna be able to your intuition is getting stronger guys you were unable to see this first of them who they truly were at some point yeah this person's watching you this person's watching you they may say that you know can i come over you want to come over to my house this person knows how to manipulate they know how to reel people in they know how to make people feel bad for them and to get what they want out of people this person's going to be coming in almost begging you to take them back or trying to win you over just to try to just for you to find out that this person was just trying to use you they would do all of that they did they're going to do the most or they've done the most just to use you yeah this person's trying to play you This is somebody that is well known for their um, their behavior, for them being stupid, for them being reckless, nasty. I don't, <clears throat> somebody's uh, about to be put on blast. Possibly this came out. I don't remember whose reading this was that I did. Was it last week or the week before? Somebody's bad deeds are might are going about to. They're going to be put on social media or put out in public. Somebody's about to be put on a, put on blast. Secrets are about to be exposed. Somebody may um, post something about this person publicly and everybody's going to see it. That the word is going to spread very quickly about this situation, about this person. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. And I feel like the, the word about you is also spreading just as fast. But you have good things going around, going on, around about you. You guys um, are achieving a lot. You guys are looking good. Your, your vibration's good. It's like... But this person's about to be exposed for their bad deeds. It's like you're about to, your good deeds are going to be going viral too. But what they've been doing is about to go viral, but it's not good. You know what I mean? I'm like, I hope that makes sense. Like, <sighs> yeah, look at this. It's like, you're going to be like, when you find out what this person's been up to, when they, when they get put on blast, you're going to be like, wow. Shit, like, you're going to be like, I can't even believe this. <clears throat> this could have been somebody that trying to throw shade at you or trying to talk bad about you when they had a lot of, they were doing all types of shady things. They didn't have any right to say anything bad about you or to talk down about you or whatever they were doing, but that could resonate for some of you. It is you. Oh, 
here we go, guys. See, I, I, I really hate pulling this deck out, but it, like, exposes the T, all right, guys? Like, look at this. <laughs> Abortion or miscarriage, end of a pregnancy. Hmm. <laughs> Cocaine, op op opioids, heroin, meth. If you guys have somebody blocked, they want you to unblock them, but that could be what is going to come out. Like, they had a secret baby, but they maybe made somebody get an abortion, somebody has an addiction, so they could have got somebody pregnant, somebody lost a baby. So, baby, I oh, don't know, guys, it's dusty. Yep, with this beggar mooch opportunist. Yep, this person's a beggar. They want, they like mooching off of people. <laughs> we need to talk ASAP, because, yeah, they want, they want something out of you. They want you to unblock them. They need, they want to try to get something out of you. <laughs> They're going to be coming in saying, I want to, I'm sorry I broke your heart. What can I do to fix it? Just to try to use you again. Yeah, look, this person has mommy and daddy issues. And our child issues. Plotting on your downfall. This person does not have good intentions for you. Clearing, what did I say, guys? I said this in the beginning of the reading, that you guys have to cut cords. Clearing work and cord cutting needed. That's exactly what I said. You may think that you have moved on from somebody, but you have not. All right, guys, so you may want to look into a core cutting ceremony. That's exactly what I'm saying. You may think you've moved on from them, but you still are connected to them. Yep. I, I got that feeling. Yeah, skeletons in the closet. Can you give me another chance? This time it will be different. This person has a lot of things that they need to face and they need to heal and work on. Because, yeah, friends of benefits. Yeah, this person's going to be kind toward you, saying, like, can you give me another chance? But this isn't going to go any further than friends with benefits. This one, at, and when I say friends with benefits, I mean, like, not just, like, sexual. I mean, like, they're going to be trying to benefit off your money, stuff like that. Money, what they what they can get out of you. health concern yeah you can be dealing with somebody that has some type of health mental health issue as well but yeah the the gist of what the reading is here look at this player whore a player that's who you're dealing with so somebody that sleeps around a lot they're a user they're a beggar um spirit is just saying that as long as you hold on to this person there's there's something big that they're trying to give to you or give to you, bless you with, that you're going to be blocked from until you cut cords with this person. That's completely up to you if you want to keep trying to um, deal with this person, wait for this person. But Sphere says as long as you hold on to them, you are blocking your blessings. All right? And I Sphere is saying that this that there's a high possibility that this person's going to come in and try to use you. All right? And that's the only purpose. that That's all they're trying to get out of this connection or relationship. So, let's see here. All right. Sometimes you have to cut cords more than once. Cord cutting ceremonies don't always work, all right? So even if you think that you've done a cord cutting ceremony, they do not always work, especially if the person um, on the other end um, is very much opposing that energy, all right? Opp opposing the energy of you trying to cut the cords with them, you sometimes have to do it more than once. But whoever this reading is for, you still have an energetic connection to this person. Mine's the duck gap. All right, let's get a little bit of look at this, guys. So, if you guys are mothers, if you guys have children, spirits says they really want you to focus on um, motherhood, mothering your children, focus on your children, pour all of your energy into your babies. Um, don't give any of your energy to this person. All right. Um, Spirit says they want you to, they want you to be grateful for everything else that you have in your life. But you know, try to shift your focus away from this situation. It says, don't forget to see the beauty beyond your ambitions and enjoy those little things in life. So they want you to um, recognize the beauty in your life. Um, they just really want you to, in a nutshell, they want you to shift your focus away from this situation, this person. This person is going to be coming in with some type of offer, guys. They are going to be wanting to get back together. But look at this card right here blowing smoke he's just blowing smoke or he or she is just smoke blowing smoke in your face don't trust everything he tells you babe remember actions speak louder than words so yeah they are they are going to try to get back together with you 
they are going to be returning. They are coming in with a love offer, but Spirit says they will be blowing smoke. All right. So, let's see, what was on that? Yeah, and Motherhood was on the back of the deck. So, look at this ego trip. He knows he missed out on a good woman. His mistake was thinking you wouldn't walk away. Now it's your turn to be chased. Yeah, this is the kind of first not thought that you would always be there to use. That they thought that they could leave you and that you would always be there um, for for when they wanted to come back and try to use you again. But I think they're about to be in for a reawakening. Or I hope so. All right. So this is what I have for you guys today. This is what I have for you guys today. This is what I have for you guys.